the solution to this. There are some other ways to do it, but let's just use the a manual way. So we've got these two tables. You'll notice we've already got a column here called list. This one's list one, this one's list two. So all we're going to do is just take this data, just copy it. I'm just going to put it at the bottom here. Okay, so that's great. And then we're going to put it into Power Query. And I'm not sure if you noticed, even though this looks like a table, notice that when we clicked on it, Excel didn't give us the table ribbon. So actually it's not a table at the moment. So let's convert it into a table. That looks fine. Okay, so we've now got it in a table. Let's go put it into Power Query. Okay, so we've got that. Let's just check, it's got list one there, list two is there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna remove the duplicates and a duplicate where that, 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 oops, that, that, and that are the same. This here is just for our benefit. We'll have a look at it just now. But what we want to do is those are duplicates. So it's as simple as go to remove rows, say remove duplicates, and when you click on it, then works through and it decides what it's going to keep. And you'll see in this case, most of them are sitting in list one anyway, and then there's just a few that are in list two that we didn't have. So we've hopefully now taken those two lists and fixed them up so that we have a comprehensive listing of the data.